Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Arkansas Weather Blog. We are your ticket to big weather events, and we do have severe weather. And I'm really going to focus on the chance for severe weather across southern Arkansas and the way things are shaping up right now. I can't, I can't completely rule it out further north into central and northern Arkansas, but southern Arkansas seems to be the target area. So make sure you're staying weather aware for today. Uh, make sure you have a Weather Call 7 or a NOAA Weather Radio. And you know what? I think because of the potential for some very high winds with this, and I'll show you why in just a little bit, uh, I think it would be a good idea as well to uh, maybe have a flashlight ready to go. There could be some power outages. Uh, this is our high-resolution computer model um, here at Channel 7. It's FutureCast High Resolution. And uh, I'm going to put this into motion for you and show you the chance for uh, some of these thunderstorms, which will be moving through the state, I think, a little bit later on. Now, you see a lot of rain and some rumbles of thunder. That's actually kind of a stabilizing uh, force out there. But uh, notice at 3 o'clock this afternoon, the rain still continues, but we're starting to get some breaks, especially across southwest Arkansas and western Arkansas. So if we start to see some sunshine this afternoon, that is is a bad thing. You do not want sunshine today because that just destabilizes the atmosphere. Look what's going on here in North Texas and Southern Oklahoma. I think this is where we're going to start to see the severe threat ramp up quickly later on. And uh, let's put this into motion and go into five o'clock this evening. If any thunderstorms start popping up ahead of this and they're what's called surface based, if we start to get that instability down to the surface, I think we're going to see uh, some of these become severe and uh, there will be a tornado threat with these. I don't think it's a big tornado threat, but it does exist. Uh, but what I'm looking at at 630, I think there's going to be thunderstorms with, uh, with some bows you'll see. They're like backwards C's. And let me see if I can, uh, I'm not sure if I'll be able to do this or not, but yeah. Okay, they'll start to come through like that. And uh, you can kind of see the, the, the resemblance of some of that right in here. Let me clear this out of here and show you exactly, let me see if I can clear that. Show you what I'm talking about. Whenever you see a bow echo, and again, I'm just drawing this. Whenever you see a bow, you draw a line through the apex of that bow. And you could have strong winds anywhere, but the strongest winds the crosshair is right there at the apex. This X marks the spots. That's where you have the highest winds. And that's why I think that there's going to be a, a wind damage threat with some of this. And you get some of these bow, bows. And the target area uh, is southern Arkansas with this. By 8.30, uh, you see these thunderstorms. And again, the further north you go, the atmosphere should be stabilized enough. We can have severe thunderstorms with hail. Uh, that, that is a possibility. But I think the worst of it's going to be over this area of the state. Uh, in southern Arkansas. So uh, you see where some of these thunderstorms are located. Uh, you'll have a wind and hail threat, and there could also be a tornado threat, especially, and I'll show you that outline, it's in this uh, section of the state uh, where there will be a small tornado threat for today. And I imagine there will even be a tornado watch issued for southern Arkansas. And you see this continuing at 10 o'clock, especially uh, for the far south. All right. Let me see if I can advance here and uh, show you the threat. All right, here's the uh, risk for severe weather today. The Storm Prediction Center has placed uh, much of the Channel 7 viewing area except for north central and northeast Arkansas uh, in a slight risk. And again, that southern portion of the state has a slightly better chance for seeing severe thunderstorms. I think they'll be more numerous and I think that the potential is greater there. So that's why the greatest risk, the enhanced risk, is across the southern one-third of Arkansas. What about a tornado risk within 25 miles of a given point uh, in that yellow shaded area? Notice how uh, that risk is there further north, but it's lower. Um, so again, tornadoes can occur anywhere, but they're more favorable across southern Arkansas. The hail threat, 30% chance within a given point, but I think the wind threat is even greater. 30% chance within 25 miles of a given point. And a lot of people say, hey, Todd, that's not a great chance. Statistically, it is a good chance. Um, so I think that uh, wind especially is going to be the big threat. And this is our, uh, our impact forecast. Uh, the storm threat index, I got hail at medium. You know, if I could divide these maybe in half, I'd take that and do like one and a half of these bars. <laughs> That's not possible. And maybe wind all the way up to right in here, uh, partially through the high category. Tornado threat may be right in here, especially for southern Arkansas. That I think further north, that tornado threat is diminished. But southern Arkansas, I think you have a little bit better chance for a tornado. And that flooding threat is there as well because uh, portions of southern Arkansas have had a um, uh, have had 
quite a bit of rain this spring. So if you put a lot of rain on top of it, I think there's that risk. Let me see if I can pull up. Yeah, there's radar. This is at 822 and you're getting some rain and some thunder and lightning at this time. None of that severe. And again, I'm recording this at 822 in the morning. Hot Springs is getting it. Let me see if I can throw this into motion for you. Uh, the one thing that this is doing, it's helping keep the atmosphere stabilized where you have clouds and rain around. And that's a very good thing if you don't want severe weather. And I definitely don't want it. It hurts people. Just remember that there's some people actually that like this stuff. And I just don't understand that. But anyway, um, this is a, a stabilizing factor. So the thing to watch is, you know, this is still early in the morning. And so if you get this wave of rain to come through, and then the you know sun starts to break out that that's a bad thing so there's still plenty of daylight hours to where this area of rain passes by and you can start to destabilize the atmosphere and the area that's favored for that would be southern arkansas so stay with us at channel seven um, if you follow on twitter at ktv news you know you get instant watches and warnings uh and they come out awfully fast on uh, on that social media outlet uh, at ktv news on twitter uh, and when i say awfully fast i think uh the timing of that, the way that we get that information, it's even faster than the uh, time it'll take to get to your NOAA weather radio. It's that quick. So I, I highly recommend keeping an eye on that Twitter feed So and following at KTV News. Thank you so much for coming to the Arkansas Weather Blog. We are your ticket to big weather events. Stay safe, everybody.